We do begin with that deadly storm being called historic tonight, a state of emergency and now at least seven dead. And this evening, the urgent call to action, the National Guard, those Humvees moving in, drivers trapped for hours being rescued, and images overnight, this pregnant woman carried to safety. And a harrowing drive home for millions of Americans. Look at this tonight, a highway in Wisconsin, that car sliding into another vehicle parked on the shoulder of the road. And this scene in hard-hit Buffalo, New York, Watch that garage door opening there. The snow piled several feet high. You can see the view right through that door. And then from outside, neighborhoods completely buried in several feet of snow tonight and more on the way. Meteorologist Ginger Z is standing by with the forecast, but we begin with ABC's Gio Benitez in the storm zone for us again tonight. After a monster storm that left the Great Lakes from New York to Michigan buried, millions are digging out. How long do you think this is going to take you to shovel out? Well, not long because I'm not going to do it too much longer. He's smart to take a break. At least three of the reported seven deaths were from heart attacks related to shoveling snow. Travel remains treacherous. The fire department forced to get around on snowmobiles. I believe when all is said and done, uh, this snowfall may break all sorts of records. New York's governor calling in more than 200 National Guardsmen to remove snow, direct traffic, and rescue the hundreds of stranded people from area highways. All finally safe tonight, including the Niagara University women's basketball team. They melted snow to drink and posted long face selfies calling for help. Caitlin Battaglia was also stuck on the highway for more than 30 hours. No food, no water. We're literally surrounded by about you know, four to five feet of snow. Overnight, firefighters rescuing a woman in labor at the height of the storm, carrying her six blocks from the ambulance to the hospital. And this little wonder, born inside a firehouse. Baby Lucy weighing in at six pounds, two ounces. Across this region, so many opening their doors to sites like this. Snow piled high, breaking in. That's Courtney Berry's door. Winter knocked and let itself in. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, much of the rest of the country is freezing cold. More than a dozen record lows tied or broken this morning, from New England to the Gulf Coast to Florida. The Midwest getting another bitter blast. Roads frozen. Watch this dash cam video from Wisconsin. Police helping motorists when... Watch again. Police warning everyone tonight, slow down and move over. Back by the lake, the Buffalo Bills are racing to clear 220,000 tons of snow from Ralph Wilson Stadium before Sunday's game, offering free tickets to 500 hardy shovelers. And all of that snow is going to end up right here. Just take a look at this giant mountain of snow already. More than 5,000 tons of snow have already been removed from that hard-hit area south Buffalo as they brace for more, David. All right, this is just incredible, Geo. Thanks to you again tonight. This record cold continuing for much of the country. And in Buffalo, the snow continuing too, Ginger. Right, record cold like Jacksonville, Florida, 27 this morning. But yes, south of Buffalo, you've seen it in pictures. Now I want to show you on a graphic. It really is stunning. Up to 65 inches, and you can see what a small swath that is. Why? I thought this might be interesting to lay out. The water temperatures, they're still very high this time of year. In the 40s and 50s, it's more shallow on the eastern end of Lake Erie. That's a big part. You put that cold wind over it, and that's the radar from the last 36 hours, David, just slamming that area. And yes, still snowing tonight. So is there any relief in this forecast? Yes. The good news is for places like the southeast that have been so cold, warming up, this is Monday's highs. But for Buffalo, you get rain and then warmth, and we could have a little bit of melting. Yeah, the snow melt is going to be a real concern, Ginger. Thank you.